Hey guys, Meet Rebel, Chris Tomer here with this Wednesday mountain weather update and our storm system, our clipper, is racing through the Great Lakes and headed towards the northeast and it will bring a reinforcing shot of cold air with it and probably some additional lake effect snow, um, certainly behind the storm system as the flow shifts, but you can see it, big area of snow, it's all snow at this point running through uh, a lot of uh, Erie, and now headed towards Lake Ontario, and eventually into New York State, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. So I'll look, I'll take a closer look at that, uh, that storm system and how much snow I'm expecting in just a second. I want to take you out west, high and dry, totally the opposite. So uh, on the east coast, we've got the big dip in the jet, supporting stormy weather, cold air. On the west coast, it's high pressure, a big ridge of it, and that's warm and dry. So a tale of two different cities. In fact, beneath that ridge of high pressure in Colorado here, here's a view in Breckenridge, and I, I always love this shot. This is uh, looking from peak nine over to peak eight. It's clear as a bell up there this morning. Um, new snow hits Colorado somewhere around 12 eight, 12 nine, early 12 10, somewhere in that uh, time frame, and it will bring a cold front with it and uh, some colder air. All right, here's the setup this morning on water vapor satellite imagery. So on this, your oranges and reds are gonna be your drier air loft. And we still have this high pressure ridge sitting right about here across the west coast, really protecting the west from any sort of inclement weather. Um, the action, and there's quite, actually quite a bit of moisture here in the whites and the blues and the uh, mid-levels of the atmosphere. It's all being routed up into parts of Alaska, Canada, British Columbia, and then all of that is running down into the Great Lakes. That's the storm track, and that's what's producing that clipper storm. Um, that is rolling through the Great Lakes right now, headed towards the Northeast. Now, eventually, this pattern is going to change. And all of this action, these areas of low pressure out here, will start to break the high down, and one will come through. One will break through at 12, 8, 12, 9, and 12, 10, and kind of run down through the interior. Okay, let me just uh, talk a bit about my snow timeline here. Best odds of snow, Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, Interior, BC, and the Northeast. So, for example, in the Wasatch, light snow accumulation coming 12, 8, 12, 9. So, unfortunately, this isn't going to set up. At this point, it doesn't look like it's going to set up as a major storm system for the Wasatch, um, looking to be on the lighter side. Tetons could get light to moderate accumulations, 12, 8, 12, 9, moderate to heavy, 12, 3, 12, 13. Once the flow starts to shift a little more out of the northwest, we'll start to bring in some moisture over the top of the Tetons on 12, 13. Colorado, light to moderate accumulations. These numbers have bounced around a little bit, but light to moderate, 12, 8, 12, 9, and a pretty good period coming up, late 12, 6 through 12, 7 for interior B.C., um, I'll show you those numbers coming up, potentially another shot of heavy snow, 12, 12, and 12, 13. Um, let me take you into uh, Utah. Let's go to Alta Ski Area. This is the forecast mediagram. Obviously, it is dry. You can see it in the column. Here's uh, Wednesday today, December the 4th. There's the 5th, there's the 6th, there's the 7th. It is dry all the way through the 7th. Now, beyond this, on the 8th and 9th, you would see that light snow come through. But before that happens, it's going to be warm and it's going to be dry. This is at about 9,000 feet. High temps today at 36, 37 tomorrow, 36 the day after, and then back into the middle 30s on Saturday. Before we bring in that next front, the winds will likely increase out ahead of that storm system. Okay, here's the jet stream forecast. This is the storm track. This is what generally pushes the weather around the globe. Um, and what we're looking for are dips in this or troughs, and those are your storm systems, like little gems, little oysters in the, in the shell. Um, so here we go. Push this ahead in time. There's 12.5, still high pressure, 12.6. Now, 12.7, here comes the, the kink in the flow. You see the trough sliding down through the northern tier, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Idaho. But notice it doesn't go all that far south, and it kind of just brushes Utah. Um, here's 12.9. It might spin up into a slightly stronger storm for Colorado, northern New Mexico. We'll have to wait and see on that. Um, not set in stone. All right, here's 12.10. That moves away. Now, the flow is a little more active here. Once we get into about 12.12, 12.13, you can see the next storm system gathering over the Pacific, and then that would likely slide in um, beyond this time period. Okay, let's put some precip on this. So here's the forecast radar and the satellite. So by 5.30 this afternoon, lots of sun for the lower 48, just high and dry. 
All right, here's Thursday morning. There's Thursday afternoon. Everything is, is all quiet on the western front until we get to about 12-7, 12-8. There's our storm system um, and Canadian cold front coming out, dropping north to south into Idaho, Montana, and eventually Wyoming, and it does brush Utah on the way through. And the whole thing spills into Colorado and northern New Mexico, but it's not that strong, and it's pretty fast. All right, here's 1211. You can see that uh, kind of that northwest flow trying to set up, and there's our next storm system. Like I said, beyond 1213, the whole thing would likely push in, certainly to the inner mountains. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Okay, here is the, uh, the forecast, my snow forecast, all of today through 127. And notice where the snow is. It's up in the northern tier. It's up in the parts of B.C., and uh, uh, just a lot of Canada. And again, that storm track takes our storm systems down into the Great Lakes and into the Northeast. Here's the second time period. <clears throat> so this is 12A through 12:13. This is a more active period, but we're not talking about gigantic snow for the Inner Mountain. Uh, in Colorado, numbers around roughly three to eight inches. Um, in, in Wyoming, six to probably eight over the Tetons, a bit more up in Big Sky. Uh, around 8 there in Bridger Bowl, 8 to 12 through northwest Montana, right around uh, Snow Bowl and Discovery, a little less over Whitefish. Uh, Idaho does okay, anywhere from 4 to 12 inches of accumulation. Some good numbers there through Revelstoke and Interior BC. You might recall the first period forecasting 6 at Revelstoke, and then the second time period I'm forecasting 11, so over a foot during this forecast period as a grand total. Um, looks like one to two feet for the Pacific Northwest, from Whistler down to Baker, Rainier, Crystal, Timberline, and beyond. And I really, unfortunately, just don't have anything for the Sierra, from Tahoe down to Mammoth. This looks to be a totally dry seven to eight to nine day period ahead. Now, everything is spilling into the Northeast. Here are my uh, totals between all of today and 1213. So snow comes in later today, 12-4 through 12-5. There's another storm after that. And potentially, and again, here's my timeline for this, in the Northeast, 12-7, 12-8, light accumulations, and then a moderate snow on 12-9. So what you're seeing here with these numbers accounts for all of that, all of those storm systems, um, anywhere from six to probably 12 inches through Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine at the major ski areas. Um, Snow Ridge gets probably a foot, maybe more with lake effect, depending on exactly what the flow looks like behind this 12-5 storm system. Um, but those are the numbers at this point um, across the Northeast. So we'll end on this map across the West, 12-8 through 12-13. This is our next best hope for snow and cold air across Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. And again, that mainly comes on 12-8 and 12-9 and potentially another storm system around 12-13, 14, and maybe 12-15. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.